Hello, YouTubers, YTPC, everybody who's part of the pipe community on YouTube. I am Professor Pipe Smoker, and today I got my box of goodies from Pipes and Cigars. It showed up around noon on the. So I'm going to do the unboxing for all of you and show you what comes in a standardized box if you haven't seen this already. So let's start with the promotional material. So first of all, we have a wine voucher. I don't drink wine, but this one's a good one. Good chop. I think definitely I could uh, use $100 worth of some good uh, steaks, you know. Then it has the promotions for some of the stuff that they have there at Pipes and Cigars. A pipe and some a tobacco and then it has another hundred dollar off good chop um, as well so a bunch of coupons little things like that um, then I have bubble wrap this isn't too exciting and first off that was in this bubble wrap <clears throat> kind of fell out when I was looking through the box a little bit but I have one of my new pipes right here and um, I'm going to go through the tobacco here in a second. But this one right here is my Cobbett Dwarf. And then I actually got the Cobbett Shire coming as well. But look, look at this pipe. I'm not a dwarf by any means, but this. <laughs> but you know what I love about this pipe right here? Is that it has a very small bowl, like literally that's it so if you want like a quick nice little smoke this is a really cool pipe to do that with as well it's not the country gentleman it's like half the size it's uh you know missouri meerschaum as well here you go i don't know if that's auto focusing on me or their focus um somebody's calling me i'm not gonna answer so this is my Cobbett Dwarf Pipe. Now, I'm going to put that down. I'm going to go through the tobaccos I got because I'm going to review these throughout the week. So the first one that I just pulled out of the box, I'm pulling these out blindly, by the way. The first one that I just pulled out of the box that looks like it has an upside down label. It does. Shame on you, but it's the... Molto Dolce, right there. Look at that description. Rich and creamy texture of vanilla, caramel, and honey. Now I'm gonna open this up, because that, that already got me thinking, this is gonna smell good, right? Oh, wow. Mm. I can definitely smell the honey. Very light um, vanilla, very strong honey. Very mild caramel. Tin note is really good. It smells really, really good on that. Not the best I've smelled, definitely not the worst. Oh, I got another coupon for DoorDash. Huh. Gonna use that. I use DoorDash a lot. Boom. Bonus. So I actually got two of these. Well, maybe it's not upside down. Maybe that's just the way it ships. That is weird. Um, Two of those. One for now and one for later to save and let just kind of sit and age a little bit as well. The second bag I got is this, which is the maple walnut from i can smell the maple through this already oh yeah yeah that's definitely it smells like if you've had maple walnut ice cream it smells like the maple walnut ice cream a lot of yeah definitely maple flavor with the walnut kind of in there all right the next one i got that i will be reviewing is Aaron Gobra, 
and this is the Apple Crumble. Um, I like everything Apple, so this says, this is the description, it says, it's a velvety, burly, and brown, brown sugar, which means it's going to burn hot, so you got to watch out for that. Get a pipe that runs cool. Black Cavendish, and I'm going to show you the pipe that I got in a minute for this. And they're married to the earthy sweetness of fresh apple flavor. Now, I'm going to open this up and smell it, because I love apple. And I love apple crumble, and I love anything that has apple kind of sitting in it. So here we go. Um, I smell the apple. I do smell a little bit of brown sugar um, in there as well. What was the other description? Velvety burly. Yeah, I can smell the burly. I can smell that in there. Yeah. Oh, that smells really good, too. I think this might be the one where the room note is actually way better smelling than the actual um, tin note. But the tin note is is delicious on that as well. Now, for my last one, you cannot order something without having an old-time favorite. And I mean, this is like the classic, right? And what is the classic? Boom, boom. Boom! Captain Black's Pipe Original. Now I have Royal as well. And I just ordered, I put in one more order. And right now there's a sale going on on Pipes and Tobacco and I couldn't resist it. I swear after this I'm going to be doing more business through the Pipe Nut. But they had a $79.99 deal on Pipes and Cigars. And that deal had to do with a pipe and then two tobaccos and then an accessory. So I got a pipe, two tobaccos, and a lighter for uh, like 80 bucks. Like, And I mean, a good pipe, by the way. The one I got, I think I got the Viking, but there was also the Barracinis and everything. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm sneezing. Okay. Oh yeah, this is, this is your, this is... Oh, very grassy. That is your grandfather's tobacco right there. That is a classic. So, those are, I think those are all my tobaccos. And then, in my box, it all came in this box really nicely wrapped, by the way. Everything was in here. When it came, I opened up the box, but I didn't open up anything else. So, this is a brand new unboxing of my new Savinelli pipe. Here you go. White packaging. Slip cover. Has the box right here. There's the model and everything on that. Has it on this side as well with the stamp from Savinelli. Take that off. Okay, so first thing I get is there is this uh, Savinelli with a QR code sitting on the back and beautiful pictures of beautiful pipes sitting in here as well and different accessories. It's a little brochure. The next thing that is sitting in here is a black pipe bag. Not as fancy as Peterson. Savinelli got up your game a little bit, dudes. It's like a burlap sack, man. Mine, uh, mine from Peterson came in a very beautiful velvet green bag. But I do have to say, here you go. Look at this thing. That has got to be one of the biggest pipes I have ever seen. That this this is a monster, man. Look at her. You're not gonna hang this off your mouth. Just gonna yank your arm all like down, but this pipe is a good holder, like that. And this one is gonna be good for the um, the apple crumble because look at the thickness of the inside of this this uh, briar here, and look at the size of the briar. So this is gonna be able to really, I think, dissipate the heat very well. Um, when I take the stem off, I'm going to take that off for you. Okay, yep, it's got a filter in the stem right here. I'm going to put that back in. And 
in one second, I'm going to break this in with a quarter amount of tobacco. Now look at my finger and how, look at this thing, and there's, it's really loose. This is a big, big bowl. This is really a big bowl. It's a big pipe. I got to say, this is the largest pipe I own now. So I will be smoking, if I do this full, I will be here for eight hours or 12 or maybe next day you'll you know i'll still let the video run and i'll just be keeping on smoking but uh, i definitely don't think i'm going to be filling this to the top unless i do an all-day pipe this would be more of an all-day pipe but also a pipe that will allow the heat um to dissipate um like the brown sugar and the in the aromatics you know that kind of thing so i'm all uh, also would use commercially in the world comes from Ecuador there's a little Italian flag in here sticker that's pretty cool that's going to my studio and then in the bottom there's also um, some more stuff in here and this one is just a quality control number as well beautiful pipe let me show you this one more time um, has the Savinelli. You can see stamp sitting right in it. Yeah, that is a beautiful pipe. So th that pretty much is my unboxing for today of all things pipes and cigars. I have another order coming tomorrow. And I've got actually a Dr. Grubo that's coming tomorrow as well. So just kind of going to review some of these uh, new tobaccos and different things and uh, so be on the lookout for those I don't know if any of you have smoked the ones that I got probably have they're they're pretty popular ones I'm feeling something in the bottom of this pipe it feels just like a little burr I just want to make sure it wasn't a little bug or anything you know down just sitting down in there nah it's good it's a good pipe okay and that's it that was the unboxing of my pipes and cigars all my tobaccos uh, that I just got and my two new pipes which is the Savinelli Roma 606 with a filter and the Missouri Meerschaum uh, Cobbett Dwarf and they call it Dwarf because of this small bowl right here this is like a really a uh, you know, you can never really smoke quickly, but if you want kind of a faster smoke, if you don't have 30, 40, 50 minutes, or all day to smoke, this is really just a one-off, nice, nice little smoke. It is a cute pipe, man. Look at that. I'm going to go down and I'm going to get some corn. How, oh, how, oh, how. Oh. I don't know. But thank you guys for tuning in. Like, subscribe, pass the word. I'd appreciate that. I got to put my son through college. And I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you on the next video.